Hi everyone. It is it is December 8, 2017. You know, when you live this kind of destruction, when you are pretty much taken out of the game due to the evil from other people, they wanting to destroy your life, and when you do experience it, it really changes your perspective on life itself. You get to see things with a whole different view. And you get to understand how difficult it is to get back on your feet. And when, it, when you keep getting pummeled, the human being can only take so much, you know? So there's a lot of people who have said, relax, calm down. Now, my tone has not been that pleasant tone for everybody to enjoy listening to bad news. I've admitted I'm incredibly frustrated. I've admitted that there are times when I'm angry, though, mostly just kind of feeling this desperate frustration, which is not anger, but it is interpreted as such. When you have, when you get to live, so many subscribers being really suffering the consequences now, it's hard to take. Thrasky, I'm not even sure how you pronounce your uh, username. I know. I just came across this comment and I haven't spoken to, haven't corresponded with Thrasky, but I will say that this is a man that I got an awful lot of incredible information from. He passing it along to me. I passed some of it along to you. I lived in, is it Montserrat? Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Mobile home park in Fallbrook still can't get in. Watched helicopters dump everywhere but on the park. This is not fucking normal. I lost everything last night. Home, an exotic plant, exotic plant collection, burned to the ground, all gone. This is not fucking normal. This is the second time I lost it all. Last time it was the two, uh, 2007 crash. Thanks to the banks, I had to walk away from foreclosure and live in someone's back porch for six months. American dream, total fucking bullshit. Yeah, things become very real when you get to experience this. And yes, you know, I know what it feels like to have no one, to have lost everything, to uh, really just survive every single day. Hang on. You desperately need help to get back on your feet. For some of us, it's really not, you know, enough just to have four walls due to how much loss has occurred. But for many, they have other people in their life and they just need help financially and you know, they, they are capable of getting back on their feet. So, you know, yeah, I will post the videos. I will say, please, please, please donate so that we can help subscribers, so that we can help one another. And then when those donations come in, there are so few who donate. And I am left with this heartsick feeling that it doesn't, So many subscribers who could donate 
a dollar, five dollars, and they just don't. And the few who do are just gems and so grateful, but then heart sick and soul sick or something because it doesn't, the few donations. No, it doesn't help. I'm going to put my PayPal address down below. I'm going to ask that you donate because there are a lot of subscribers who are hurting and I sit here feeling so incredibly helpless that I can't stand it. And I would have loved Kafka Winston World to have been a channel where people really could come and just would love to be able to create a, create a space, especially for my subscribers who fall into these circumstance having nothing to do with themselves. We're at war. It's kind of like, you know, what? If we were in a conventional war and Rasky got shot, but was still alive and desperately needed help. Based on what I'm seeing is most people would just walk right past him. Only a few would stop and help. And it does hurt. And we've got the fires now. We had the fires just eight weeks ago. We had Hurricane Harvey. You know, I hear from a subscriber who lives in Houston who said or sent me articles on people are living in their cars. Due to the flooding. Came across an article. Homelessness surges in Northern California due to the rents being so high. So I don't know the circumstances that you are living and I don't, I feel bad because I'm sure I'm not pronouncing your username right, but I don't know your circumstances. You know, do you have people in your life that you can reach out to? as hard as it is? Do you have somebody at your back? But I want to ask you guys to please donate. Because if that's not the case, you know, this is, this is what we can do to help when we're so far away and we can't be there to help practically. But I still have subscribers hurting. Please. Please. And please. We've got to change. Jesus. We really have to come together and help one another. No, I'm sorry. There is no way of stopping this this evil that is taking out so many people. There's no way to stop it. We do not have the numbers. We keep getting beaten back by the majority of Americans who just want to call us names. But what we can do on a daily basis is help one another lessen the suffering Try to lessen the suffering of all of those who are living the consequences of this great evil. We can help one another. We can donate. We can 
If you're living in that area, you can reach out. But the donation, you know, yeah, money is absolutely a, a, a factor. But just the giving, the giving of it, the spirit of it, that provides hope. That, that allows somebody to see that, wow, people, people care. And that is absolutely necessary. To give somebody some emotional support. And I'm sorry, guys. I feel like my feelings to everything is that they're appropriate. I don't feel like I'm being dramatic. I don't feel like I'm exaggerating anything. I'm sick of this. I'm so tired of this. And I am so tired of feeling completely and utterly helpless. And I can't stand it. And more and more subscribers are going down. But you guys who are subscribers, can we not build something together to watch out? for one another. Can we not do that? It's needed. It's necessary. PayPal address below and Throsky, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And if there is anything that I can do, clearly I am 3,000 miles away. But if there is anything that I can do, let me know.